Elias Lindholm back on the ice Sunday with his teammates after a whirlwind 24 hours or so on the home front. He and his wife welcoming their first child on Saturday. Everyone happy and healthy. Congrats to Elias and Annika. Happy Family Day long weekend and welcome to game day as we get you set today for a little matinee tilt between the Flames and the Flyers. And fitting, we talk about uh, the Lindholm baby arrival as this is the Family Day game here at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. The second and final meeting head-to-head -head between these two teams this season and at a 2 o'clock puck drop here at the Saddle Dome. It was a Calgary Flames win back in Philadelphia. That was all the way in late November. So uh, a bit of time has gone past between these two teams have met as the Flyers Flyers continue their western road swing right now. They've dropped four straight after that loss on Saturday night at the hands of the Vancouver Canucks in a lopsided one. They'll look to get back in the win column right now, sitting 14th overall in the Eastern Conference. As for the Calgary Flames, well, we know how big the win was on Saturday night against one of the hottest teams in the National Hockey League, that being the New York Rangers. They snapped their seven-game win streak with that overtime victory, courtesy the hero in the extra frame on the power play. Michael Backlund, that redirect in front on the Jonathan Huberto pass, actually shot, that turns out to be the game-winning helper. Huberto had a pair of assists in that game, but it's now all about carrying some of that momentum forward for the Calgary Flames, and that starts against the Flyers and starting to string some very crucial wins together. Next game's big. Um, and, you know, every game following, that's big for us, right? Um, we're in a, man, I guess, playoff hunt right now. And, you know, we're trying to, you know, string a couple together and uh, make a good push and and uh, kind of make the playoffs here right so um these next game next game's big and um you know we need the two points in the standings time now for a look at who to watch and we'll start with travis konechny who broke out of an eight game pointless drought on this road trip and he's got three points in the last two games continues to lead the flyers in scoring up to 52 points on the season which matches his career high he's already up to a career high in goals with 26. Meanwhile, the Flames will welcome back their number one center in Elias Lindholm after missing Saturday's game for the birth of his son. Lindholm leads the Flames in scoring with 49 points and sits just two points away from a major career milestone, and that would be 500 in his NHL career. So something to keep an eye on for number 28 here against the Flyers. As for the rest of the lineup, we'll have to wait until closer to warm-up. Flames skated full skate on Sunday here at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome, but won't know the final lineup, including starting goaltenders until we see them take the ice for warm-up on Monday afternoon.